Well, the goalposts are officially down because it was the final game of the season here at Washington Grizzly Stadium. But for the Montana Grizzlies football program, they've got one more left as Montana for the first time since 2009 is headed to the FCS National Championship game. And what a scene it was here in Missoula on Saturday evening as Montana took down the mighty North Dakota State Bison and made history in the process as they're headed to Frisco, Texas for their shot at a national championship. Frisco, Montana's going to Frisco! Yes, sir. It means the world to me and it means the world to everyone on our team and all the coaches and you know, we put a lot of work in since August and it's a brotherhood inside of that locker room and I just couldn't be more blessed to be on this team and grateful for our coaches and the guys I get to play with every day. The scene on Saturday evening in Missoula is one that will live in grizzly lore forever. Fans on the field celebrating frenetically and blissfully after the Montana Grizzlies defeated North Dakota State in a double overtime thriller to get back to the national championship. While the back-to-back -back overtime games in the playoffs may have added some unwanted stressors, the Grizzlies found a way to prevail and in turn enjoy the moment. It's an act. I am not relaxed. Not at all. <laughs> and like I said last week, I said, overtime is gut-wrenching. What does that make double overtime? Horrible. So anyway, I'm having a blast. This group of people likes and loves each other. Uh, they play hard for each other. It's a privilege to be their coach. That's what I'm enjoying. And there's plays that will stand the test of time when looking back at this run, like the electric Junior Bergen, who one week after taking a kick and punt return back for touchdowns, stepped up when the lights were brightest again in the fourth quarter with his fifth career punt return score to give the Grizz the lead and ignite Missoula. Well, the ball was kind of towards our right side and our, we had return left on and they were kind of fanned out to the field. So I kind of just stopped and cut it up a little bit and I was going to cut it all the way back, but I was like, nah, I just trust it. Thankfully I did and, you know, the, all those guys got their blocks and we were, able, we were able to get out. What's going on in my head is probably I'll be damned we did it again. Then there was the first overtime where NDSU scored on the first play to take the lead, but Montana took just two plays to respond as Clifton McDowell found Bergen for his second score of the game. You know, just leaving your mark on games like these, he, he went and talked about all like our semifinal games and guys who left big marks on that game. You know, we just wanted to take it upon ourselves to potentially make plays in that game as well. In the second overtime, Eli Gilman scored to put UM up, but the two-point conversion was what sealed it, as again Bergen was called upon to make a play with the ball in his hands on the trick play as he got his face mask ripped, but heaved it to Keelan White, who caught the ball on the tip in an iconic moment for UM. Just a blessing, man. Me coming in, I came in as a walk-on in 2019, and I never thought I'd be in a spot like this now, and just to be here now is just... Feels, just feel blessed. In turn, the Bison scored, but on their two-point attempt, their trick play saw the ball end up in the hands of Corbin Walker as the Grizzlies sealed the win and sent the stadium into a frenzy, adding another chapter to a historic season and for a decorated program that has waited so long to get back to this scenario, playing for the opportunity to become national champions. I just want more time with the guys in the locker room and the coaches. I mean, from Monday meetings to lifts to practice to anything and everything, you know, just every day we just soak it up and, you know, I just don't want it to end. So that's why we play so hard. We play that hard for one another and it's special and I'm just so glad that we have another couple weeks together. And we're going to cherish each and every day. That's exciting. I mean, golly, everybody is pretty excited. It's, it's fun. Winning that game brings great joy to everybody on our team and staff. Grizzly football brings a lot of joy and happiness to a lot of people in, in uh, Montana and, and uh, in our alumni base. And Grizzly football is special, and that was a special game. So it will be number one South Dakota State versus number two Montana in Frisco, Texas on Sunday, January 7th, with the national championship on the line and the Grizzlies looking to secure their first title since 2001. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.